Hello everybody, welcome to the next screencast in our series of event stream analysis. My name is Christoph Gern and today we'll have a look at how to create a stub, like a source container, after a build has finished on OpenShift. So again, based on the work I've done before, based on OpenShift events and Kubernetes events sent over to Apache Kafka, um, I would like to implement something that is going to pick up all the source code that has been used in a build and put that source code into a separate container. That container shall be called a source container. So what have I implemented? The event router is a well-known component by now. Um, it's uh, sending Kubernetes and OpenShift events into an Apache Kafka topic. In addition to that, we have the thing that I call raw event switch yard, something that is reading raw events from the topic and uh, picking up objects and sending these objects to other uh, Apache Kafka topics. The most important component for now is events analysis. This is a tiny Python program which is picking up each and every completed build and is sending the whole OpenShift build object including all the log files and stuff to the Apache Kafka topic called OpenShift Builds Completed. And a fourth component is called the source packager. This one is going to analyze the build log. It's creating a new build configuration. This build configuration will do exactly the same thing as a source to image build, but it will not create a binary container. It will create a source container. The source container has no binaries in it. It only carries the source code for the application. Source Packager will also create an image stream um, which will hold the resulting source container and of course it will trigger the build itself. So what does it look like? If we look at the log file of uh, Source Packager we see that the Source Packager is looking for completed builds and fetching the build log now. Um, after that it will analyze the build log and for example, figure out that this build has been using a Git repository uh, called Django example. Uh, it's one of the well-known OpenShift examples. And that the source code repository has been checked out at a specific Git hash. Next, it will create the image stream to hold the resulting source container and it will create the build config um, to create that source container. And it will kick off or initiate the build config and this will redo the steps from the Python source to image and will package up all the source for this Python application or for this Django application. Uh, for now, source packager only uh, can understand Python, um, so um, we can extend it to understand all the Go language, all the uh, PHP or Perl stuff that you have running on your OpenShift. So the resulting image stream object looks a little bit like this. Um, the source container itself is named something dash source. In our example, it's uh, the first Django example build uh, source container. So it's called Django X1 source. It's created in the same namespace in the same project as the Django application itself. You could imagine that we put it in a different namespace, but this uh, example is using the same namespace. And the image is tagged with the current git hash, which has been used to build the application. So this git hash refers back to the checked out source uh, from the GitHub repository. Here are a few references. Again, you can see the event router, uh, the event streaming analysis, Python application, and the source package of Python application itself. So I've put in another wonderful ASCII screencast. Uh, head over to the ASCII NEMA URL and see the thing in action. Uh, I'll show you how to deploy the application, how to uh, read the log files from source packager, and you'll see uh, the resulting image stream and build configs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to send some feedback either on Twitter or via email. My name is gern at redhat.com. Thanks.